Welcome back to the show. I'm rapping with Scott Springston, the director of Grand County Higher Education. So Scott, you came in from Missouri most recently, born and raised Arvada, so you're a Colorado local. Correct. And uh, how, how did this, how did you end up in Grand County? Were you looking for this job? Did they find you or did it just kind of... Well, we had an opportunity. I mean, I, I spent um, 23 years in public education from um, teaching to being superintendent of schools and um, uh, also taught at uh, master's level uh, college courses. And we, our oldest child uh, graduated and we just love this area. I mean, as a child, we come up so here. Empty nesters. You know kinda, Winter Park. Kind of. I still have, I have a daughter at, uh, oh. at uh, East Grand School District. She's a junior. So we, my wife loves it up here. And we just decided, you know, it's a good opportunity for us to go and um, Well, and let's, let's get some local flair then. Uh, what is it that you love up here? What do you do? Do you ski? At all of it. Anything outside. I think, you know, being outside definitely balances a person's soul and perspective. And I just, I love anything I can do. Fishing. Yeah. I love fly fishing and skiing and hunting and any camping, hiking. Just being outside. Just I mean, that's outside. the whole idea. And how about this fall? Oh, it was this beautiful. is a, a fall to remember. I've been here for 14 falls now, and I've never had a mud season that didn't exist. I mean, right. this th there was never a week of just muck. You know, it was beautiful yeah. weather right it up until November 15th, and then boom, we got pounded with snow. Wow. As a fly fisherman, I loved it. It was an extended opportunity to catch catch some fish so yeah. it is good glad to hear and it's always glad to see someone else that's moved here for the same reasons mm -hmm. too because most of us up here are here for the same reasons right. it's, it's right. incredible just to be outside but future of the program like where, you know what are your goals obviously you've got a pretty key role here of uh, the higher education program so where do you see it heading in the near future well first step right now is to get the word out to our our county and our community that um, what Grand County Higher Ed is and, and and kind of as we start to roll out and, and to the public kind of what our what our goals are and, and what opportunities that they have that's that's first and foremost uh, starting with the show and um, I'm working right now our, our major strategic goal for 2017 will be to develop a needs assessment and so collecting data and pulling in people from you know, that have that data, whether it be through the county or through state level agencies, to, to look at our workforce data and be able to say, where are we now? And then we can be able to map that with what educational um, opportunities we really need to focus on. Because we want to make sure that what we're providing is has the best benefit here in our community and, and prioritize those. So you must be a statistical guy. I, yeah, I, I use data. <laughs> you I sound like you use like, yeah, data's come up a few times and yeah. I, I can appreciate, you know, yeah. with technology and computers today, you know, in today's world, why wouldn't you? Right. And, so. and I think the work's so important that we want to make sure that our effort is, is maximized. And I think that's where data will give us, it doesn't tell the whole story, but at least starts that conversation um, that as we engage with our community. So would you like to see a presence of a higher education institution in our county? Is that kind of a ultimate goal as well or is it more just connecting to the resources to yeah I, I, what I what I believe right now is is the role of Grand County Higher Ed is to, f to identify the need and then match um, the delivery of whatever we offer to that so for example this county is is large geographically as you know right and so there might be um, something that's in Kremling, for example, that might better be served either because of the topic or the participants that maybe we host a course there. Maybe it's it's over here in Winter Park. Um, we've been um, consulting with the uh, architects and the contractors for Mr. Fanch's building, um, his Headwire Ecology. Um, this is building. right next to Hernando's Pizza Pub. Right for those watching, yeah. uh, one of our key sponsors, and we right. love Hernando's. So um, great location. So it there is. will be some. It is, and and I commend Mr. 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 Fanch for his investment in that building mm -hmm. because what, what we're consulting for providing uh, information to him about is how he can equip that building and he's planning to to be able to be used as an interactive um, educational um, facility not only in their kitchen, so it could be a functional training kitchen, but then also within the building itself. So we could either do traditional uh, training face-to-face -face, or it could be via modem from anybody in the world that's, a, that's the instructor. And so he's looking at um, investing in that facility, which would be a community asset uh, for us Huge to be able to Huge deal, use. and it's been a massive undertaking. I mean, it's been going right. on for a while, and right. even today I saw guys in the blustery snow right. working their tail off. So. But, but what a great asset to have. Um, and and we're, we're tenant, hopefully we'll be able to, to start classes in there next fall. Well, Scott, it's been a real pleasure having you on the show. Um, I got a quick uh, test just to get to know you. It's a little either or. You got a either one up. word answer. You're just going to okay. have to spit them out. So uh, real quick, we're going to say uh, summer or winter. Summer. Uh, PBR or IPA? 
<laughs> IPA. <laughs> uh, fad biking or cross country skiing? Uh, cross country skiing. All right. If you're the parking lot's full, you're gonna take the bus. Or you're gonna pay the pay a lot. Uh, I'll pay the pay a lot. You gonna lead or are you gonna follow? I'll lead. All right. On that note, we're gonna follow Scott. He's gonna take us to the promised land with higher education. Scott, thanks again for being on the show. You bet. Scott Springston, uh, the director of the Grand County higher education and uh, a big offshoot of the Grand Foundation. Correct. Definitely check them out at their website. Uh, is it thegrandfoundation.org? Yes. Is that right? Yes. That right. It's on below. It, there we go. <laughs> and on that note, uh, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have uh, Frank with the superintendent of the East Grand School District and Frank Reeves. He's uh, going to be a special guest of ours as well. So thanks again, Scott. We'll see you next time. Hope you have a nice I appreciate it.